In this video, we're going to be talking about arbing. A lot of people struggle to see the difference between match betting and arbing, which is short for arbitrage betting. I actually had a comment on YouTube where you can see beginners, they just struggle to see the difference and that's that's completely fine uh, i can i can completely appreciate why people struggle to to spot the difference and it's actually quite simple in this video i'm going to really quickly explain the difference between the two and why you might prefer to do one or the other with match betting as i've spoken about in pretty much all of my videos on this channel we make profit by exploiting promotions that bookmakers run a lot of the time this is for free bets but it could be for extra places or or numerous other offers that aren't specifically for free bets but they're for big payouts but it's always a promotion that we're exploiting so as opposed to match betting with arbing you make all of your profit in one bet and you make a profit every single time this is because it's just it's just a really simple thing to do an arb is when the odds are higher on the bookmaker than they are on the betting exchange a horse on the bookmaker are odds of 10 and you've got the same horse on the exchange and you can lay it at odds of eight, you can make two pound profit for every 10 pound you stake or a little more than two pound profit. This means obviously if you put a hundred pound on, you can make 20 pound profit. So you can see why this would be really appealing to people because if you could do that five times a day, you're making a hundred pound. If you do that in a week, that's 700 pound. Obviously in a year, that's a lot of money. Why is Arbing bad? Bookmakers absolutely hate it. They hate much better but it's a lot easier to be to slide under the radar when you're match betting. If you act like a mug better, you're gonna you're gonna get away with things a bit easier. If you're taking an arb, it stands out on the account. It stands out massively, especially on the horse racing, which is where you're gonna find the biggest arbs. There's stuff on the football as well, and sometimes you actually can't avoid arbing because it's just a case of beating the start price. But they are really bad. You do not want to be risking your healthy bookmaker accounts with arbitrage bets. However, if you are already gubbed and the bookmaker doesn't tend to run extra places, for example, or anything like that, then you might want to consider arbing the account to death, basically. If uh, there could be some random bookie that and they're not very big, they don't do the extra places, they don't, they don't ever do anything, you're gubbed, so you can't do anything with them, you're going to be fine arbing them until your account gets shut down, they'll let you take the funds out and, and that'll be it. You won't be able to use the account anymore, but you'll have squeezed that last bit of profitability out. You can actually use sites like OddsMonkey and anything with an odds matcher to find yourself ARBs if you are interested in doing them. You just need the odds matcher and you can just set up a simple filter to filter anything with a rate in above 100%. If this video has helped you out, then please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're interested in regular match betting videos and ways to make money with betting. And let me know in the comments below if you're still struggling to, to grasp the concept of arbing. I'll try and clear it up as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching.